Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bo Wu. I come from Institute of Atmospheric Physics, uh, Chinese Academy Science in China. Uh, the title of my presentation is uh, uh, Digital Predictions by Last IAPs Coupled GCM F goes as two. Uh, it includes uh, three parts. The first one is uh, about the uh, skill evaluations of the decade of predictions by FGOS S2. Uh, in the second part, I would like to introduce our new initialization schemes designed for the digital prediction experiment of the FGOS S2 in uh, decadal climate prediction project, which is a sub project of uh, CMAP6. Uh, finally, I, I would like to introduce our preliminary re result about how to predict digital variabilities of the East Asian sun monsoon. Uh, firstly, I would like to introduce the design of initialization schemes. Uh, this scheme is used in the uh, digital predictions by FGOS S2 in SEMMAP5. Uh, we use the incremental analysis update scheme, IU scheme, to uh, simulate observational oceanic temperature and salinity of up to 1,000 uh, meters derived from graded objective analysis data, uh, UN3. Uh, this data is uh, produced by the uh, Met Office Highlight Center. Uh, compared to the conventional nudging scheme, uh, IU scheme can uh, keep the and uh, uh, keep, keep the analysis increment uh, uh, constant during the simulation, uh, so can effectively suppress the noise uh, in the in, uh, in the simulation. We use a normally simulation approach, so no clear drift during the prediction, so we don't uh, conduct any posterior con correction. Mm. Uh, in the cost and the forecast runs uh, follows the CMAP5 protocol. Uh, because the, the limitation of uh, computing resources during that time, uh, the uh, cost and the forecast are started every five years. And uh, we have three members. Uh, this figure shows the hinder cost qualities of uh, surface air temperature. Mm. Uh, we use two metrics uh, uh, to uh, from uh, IPCC I5 uh, to measure the skill, predictive skills of FGOS, of FGOS F2. Uh, the left panel is for Hindercast year, Hindercast year two to five years. Uh, and the, the right panel is for six to nine years. Uh, the first matrix is uh, IMSSS, it's a uh, root mean square skill score. Uh, <coughs> the high score, the, the, the high predictive skill is uh, the, sec the second matrix is uh, the ratio between root mean square uh, IMSE of uh, decadal predictions and, and uh, uh, IMSE of uh, hi hi historical runs. Uh, <coughs> the only difference between these two experiments are, uh, are that uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the digital prediction experiment, uh, initialization are conducted. So we hope that the initialization can, can bring some added value for the prediction. So the low, so, sorry, yeah? So the, so the lower value, the, the high predictive skills. Uh, from, uh, for the IMSSS, we can find that FGOS show significant high predictive skills in the Indian Ocean, chopping on West Pacific and the Atlantic. Uh, there's no significant difference between the hinder cost year two to five and uh, uh, six to nine years. Uh, but the, um, but uh, if we see the see this matrix, uh, the ratio matrix, we can find that uh, the the added value of digital prediction is primarily uh, seen in the uh, in the Atlantic, because only in these regions uh, the values are significant. Uh, for the for the comparison, uh, I also sh uh, show the Hindercast quantities, quantities of surface air temperature predicted by the CMAP5 multimodal ensemble. This figure is from IPCC I5, chapter 11. Uh, we can find that basically, uh, if we see the IMSS, we can find uh, that many regions have high predict sk uh, predictive skill, uh, especially in the Indian Ocean. Uh, 
uh, tropical Western Pacific and uh, Atlantic. But if we see the ratio between IMSE of uh, uh, decadal prediction and IMSE of uh, <coughs> uh, histogram, we can find that uh, the, the added value is improvement is primarily seen in the Atlantic, North Atlantic and South Atlantic. In other regions, the added value is not significant. Uh, so we f because uh, the f goes S2 show high skill in the Atlantic, so we further uh, investigate its uh, skills in, predi in predict the Atlantic multi multi-scale variability, AMV. Uh, we use two metrics, the correlation and the IMSE. It's consistent with the IPCC F of chapter 11. Uh, we can find that uh, both metrics, uh, the skills of a decadal prediction is, is much higher than the historical run. Uh, the red line is the decadal prediction result. Uh, we can find that uh, the, the highest uh, predict scale is reached uh, in, the, in the cast year six to nine. It's uh, somewhat different from the um, uh, multi-model re ensemble result. I think this may be caused by the uh, limitation of uh, uh, in ensemble size, I think. Uh, we also show the time series for the mm, uh, for the Hindcast year six to, to nine. We can find that uh, uh, the the black lines of the vision. We can find that basically the decadal predictions result is consistent with the uh, observation, but much higher predictive scale than the historic, historical uh, ex uh, historical experiments. Uh, uh, many previous studies. Uh, Proposed that uh, the AMV is uh, uh, very uh, is highly associated with uh, uh, fluctuation of AMOC. So we uh, checked the model performance in predicted uh, in, pre in predict uh, the uh, decadal vari variability of AMOC. Uh, this, fig this figure shows the climatology AMOC uh, simulated by the FGOS S2. Uh, we can find that uh, its uh, central intensity is about uh, 18. Uh, generally consistent with observation. Uh, now we calculate the lack correlation be between MV and northward heat transport. Uh, uh, the, the red line and the, the, mm, the red line and the black line is for lack the is, is for MV lag uh, two years and five years. We can find that the the lack correlation is very high in the South Atlantic and the North Atlantic, North Atlantic to about uh, 15. To 14, 14, 5 degrees, not degrees. It's, it's uh, generally consistent with the north edge of the A mark. Uh, to the to the north of the this degree, the correlation uh, decreases dramatically. If we see the simultaneous uh, correlation, we can find that uh, the correlation is very is quite low in the North Atlantic. Uh, this this result uh, suggests that uh, the AMV is uh, is uh, Driven by the fluctuation of northward heat transport, preceding heat transport, uh, so we first checked uh, the model performance uh, in predicted uh, uh, digital vari variation of AMOC because there is no true observation for the AMOC. So we used the uh, the estimation runs uh, as of as of the, as of the vision. We can find that uh, the. Uh, for both correlation and uh, MSE, the decadal prediction uh, scale is much higher than is much higher than the historical run, especially the uh, in the cast years uh, six, uh, five to eight and the six to nine. Uh, if we see the time series of uh, in the cast years uh, six to nine, we can find that uh, basically the uh, AM, AM decadal variation of uh, EMOC simulated by the Digital predictions experiment is consistent with that uh, simulated by the simulation runs. Scales is much much larger, much is much higher than than that from the historical runs. Uh, now we would like to introduce the over new schematic, uh, new 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 scheme designed for the FGOS uh, in the next generation digital predictions. Uh, this is schematic diagram. Uh, we merged the ENOI and IU scheme together in the in the one assimilation cycles. This is a, a one assimilation cycle. We first integrate model freely. This 
this, uh, this produces the first gas for the assimilation. Then we use the ENOI. ENOI is ensemble optim optimal interpolation. Uh, this is a generic uh, sample. It's generally the same with the uh, uh, ENKF, but I don't need so much uh, uh, computing resources. <coughs> uh, we use the ENOI scheme to generate, to calculate the, uh, the uh, analysis equipment. Then we just return back to the start of the integration, then integrate first forward. In, in, uh, in the process, we introduce the, the analysis equipment through IEO schemes. And uh, uh, finally, I would I would like to introduce that how how to how to predict uh, in the decadal variability of Eastern Asian sun monsoon because because Eastern Asian sun monsoon because we can we can see that uh, at present the decadal prediction show low scale in 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 the in the East Asian sun in East East Asian but a low high scale in the. Uh, AMV. If we can, if we know how the AMV influenced the Eastern Asian Sun Monsoon, we can predict at least the partly predict the the, the interdecadal variation of Eastern Asian Sun Monsoon. Uh, so we so we apply the MVUF analysis uh, to the uh, JJA mean low level wind uh, of the Eastern Asian Sun Monsoon region. Then we get two dominant mode. We can because time limit, we, we just show the uh, simple result. Uh, the the second mode is is very uh, is highly correlated with the AMV. Uh, its its special pattern is uh, the anticyclone over here in the is the in the in the China in in the east uh, east China. Uh, there is a strong north northerly wind. It's a uh, indicator weakening of the uh, East Asian Sun Monsoon. Now we compare the results with uh, from the IC, uh, 20, 20 CR with observation and to check the robustness of the uh, the mode. It's fine that our reanalysis result is consistent with the observation. Uh, now we we showed the SLT anomaly as uh, as. Well associated with mode, we can find that it's generally the AMV. Uh, if we see the large scale circulation, we can find that there is a wave train here, middle latitude, north, as north hemisphere. This wave train is driven by the AMV. Uh, generally have the biotropical bio bio vertical structure. Uh, if we uh, show the added component of the Geo potential high, we can find that uh, this uh, wave structure, this wave train is more clear. Uh, the the vector is the wave activate wave activity flux. We can find that this wave train is uh, pro pro propagating eastward along the along the uh, the jet stream. Mm, it have wave number five uh, structure. Uh, then we check the, compare the, the result with GIA 55. Uh, we can find that this wave train is robust in different uh, analysis data set. Finally, we make a conclusion based on the 20 CR, the dominant mode of interdictive variability of East Asian obtained. The second mode is uh, uh, characterized by cyclone anomaly extending from Northeast China to Japan with a part of the interdictal uh, inter wave train. Just we call the interdictal CGT pattern, circum global technical pattern. The interdictal CG pattern is uh, associated with the forcing from the AMO. Considering that the decadal prediction experiment in CMF5 showing high scale in the North Atlantic, the result may be used in the decadal prediction of East Asian Sun Monsoon. Thanks.